When you cook a piece of chicken, you don't just boil and eat it, do you? Of course you don't. A little seasoning makes that plain tasting chicken taste a whole lot better. Well, the same holds true for vegetables too. Plenty of people tell me that they would eat more vegetables if they just weren't so boring. Turns out they're usually just steaming them and eating them plain, maybe with a sprinkle of salt and pepper. And while there's nothing wrong with that, you might enjoy your veggies a lot more and eat more of them too if you perk up the flavor with some seasoning. If you keep on hand some fresh or dried herbs and spices, lemons, limes, garlic, vinegar, soy sauce, chicken broth, and some flavorful oils, you've got plenty of seasoning options. There are no hard and fast rules for pairing herbs with different vegetables, so experiment and see what you like. That's part of the fun of cooking. If you're not sure how an herb or spice will taste, start with just a little so you don't overpower the flavor of the vegetables. Also, they're usually best tossed in just as soon as the veggies are finished cooking. Then you can add a little liquid, citrus juice, broth, wine, vinegar, or soy sauce. Again, try different ones. Cider vinegar and citrus are sharp, rice vinegar is mild, and balsamic vinegar is syrupy and a little bit sweet. Garlic is great on most vegetables, especially broccoli and leafy greens, and you can just grate it on top and give it a stir. Finally, it takes just a few drops of a highly flavorful oil like olive, walnut, or sesame to amp up the flavor of your vegetables with just a few calories. The right seasonings can definitely take your veggies from dull to delicious. Here are some of my favorite combinations. For carrots, try lime juice, dill, a pinch of sugar, and salt and pepper. For leafy greens, saute in a little olive oil with thinly sliced red onion, garlic, and a splash of balsamic vinegar. For green beans, stir in a bit of lemon juice, mustard, a little olive oil, and salt and pepper at the end of cooking. And for broccoli, a mixture of soy sauce, garlic, ginger, and a drizzle of sesame oil does wonders.